Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Monday Night Raw. And apparently, we're kicking her off with. Wait a second. That's Chris Jericho and Randy Orton. What the hell are they doing out here? What the f is going on here? I'm not liking this at all. Not liking this one bit. So, we're kicking it off here tonight with Randy Orton and Chris Jericho. And if you didn't watch us, SmackDown, let me break it down for you. After Chris Jericho's match against the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, Christian, Randy Orton made his appearance to save Chris Jericho, thus forming their new team. I don't know what the hell they call themselves. I guess they call themselves the Saviors. But Randy Orton came to the save of Chris Jericho, so I guess this must be the group he was talking about. So I guess this is the group he was talking about, man. Yeah, you, I guess you did chant out for him. None of the... Well, so you got the saviors to all the WWE. And you're going to lead us into New Age. I've heard that too many times already. I'm getting sick and tired of hearing all this crap. Oh, yeah, you guys are the back one. Not, not the commentator over here. Not the commentator. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. What? What's wrong with this company? This company's great, fool. In a couple weeks, you will... Was, there's a new savior coming out. What the hell does that mean? And the Divas division is going to be saved. And the WWE will never be the same again. Okay, Jericho, I've seen you talk about crazy things. Oh, baby. Oh, yes, this is it. This is it right here, folks. The leader of the C-Nation. The C-Nation, baby. Here he is, John Cena. Definitely the target of what the saviors are calling the problem. <laughs> that, that's the truth, Cena. That is the truth right there. And yes, that is. Oh yes, that is also the truth right there. That's a bunch of crap. Yeah, that's all. I, I, I smell some of that. Oh, oh yes, that's exactly. That's exactly what they're talking about. But yes, on Cena, kick some ass right now, man. Go out there and kick Chris Jericho's ass. Oh, he's coming to the ring. He's about to kick. He's about to kick some ass right now, folks. There we go. Here we go. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, Cena. Typical Cena. That's why. You oh, okay, Chris Jericho. Okay. Oh, he's not that boring now. Come on, Jericho. That's an exaggeration. Oh, apparently Payne has more talent than John Cena, and Hulk Hogan wants his gimmick back. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what that's about, but hey, I, I, do your own thing. Oh, <laughs> Orton and Jericho just insulting John Cena's here in his w, in WWE. Wow, that's. That's kind of true right there, man. Oh, okay. Oh, that's true right there, Cena. That's true, man. Telling the truth, man. Telling the truth. It doesn't matter what. I'm the man to be that hero. Take out Jack. That's right. Take out the two jackasses right there. Oh, he, he just went there. He just mentioned his wife. Oh, my God. No. No, look at John Cena interrupting East pissed off. You don't talk about his wife like that. You don't say anything like that. John Cena's getting beat down right now. He's getting beaten down by Randy Orton and Chris Jericho. What the hell, man? What the hell is this all about? It's all about jealousy. That's all I'm hearing, man. Simple as that. It's all jealousy. Jericho's got... Yeah, what do you want, Jericho? What do you want? Wait a second. Here comes the number one contender for the WWE Championship. CM Punk coming out to save John Cena. What's going on? He's coming out. Look at this. They're cleaning house. Jericho and Orton are running away while Cena and Punk are in the ring. And whoa, it's Mr. McMahon. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh, yes, we're having a new GM tonight, too. Oh, baby, CM Punk versus Randy Orton, a WrestleMania rematch tonight for our main event on Raw. Oh, yes, 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 yes.
But our next match is a mixed tag team match. This is going to be fun, folks. We're seeing number one contenders take on the champions. We're seeing the Divas champion and United States champion team up to take on their number one contenders, who they will face at Extreme Rules. Natalia and Sheamus will face Alberto Del Rio and Eve. And this is the first time we're seeing Natalia ever since being betrayed by Eve, but I'm pretty sure this, this spicy diva is ready to kick some ass here tonight. going on here Natalia's grabbing the mic she's about to say some stuff right here that is true she did betray you oh hosky hosky hashtag hosky that's what she gotta do that's all you gotta say oh damn they are telling it all tonight they are letting loose tonight with the insults here on Monday Night Raw heating up extreme rules the rivalries and feuds and everything Wait a second, here he is. The United States Champion, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Ladies and gentlemen, last week Sheamus came into that ring and, well, I don't know what else to tell you, but if you didn't see Raw last week, I guess you didn't see Raw. Watch Raw, and I'll tell you what happened. But he is the United States champion for a reason because this man loves to fight. He loves to get. Well, he loves to kick some ass, pretty much, some arse, or whatever he says, man. Oh, here she comes, the number one Hoski, Eve. Sorry, number one contender for the Divas Championship, Eve. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Had Oski on the mind. Eve, who the last couple of weeks has been trying to show Natalia that she can wrestle by trying to make uh, her opponents submit. Uh, and honestly, right now, I think Eve has the upper hand over Natalia, and Eve is going to become Divas Champion at Extreme Rules. I'm sorry, Natalia, but Eve will become champion for one simple fact. She's got the momentum on her side. And, and if we know anything, momentum is all you need here. That's all you need here to win championships. And Eve's got it. Just like this man right here. This man coming out right here. The, all the momentum is to this man right here. The Mexican aristocrat. I can't roll my R's as well as his ring announcer, Ricardo Rodriguez. But I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it right now. I'm going to try it. This is Mexico. This is Mexico. Alberto Delio. Uh, how was that? Was that good? <laughs> I don't know. This guy thinks it's bad. Alberto Del Rio, number one contender for the United States champion, making his way down to the ring. Named his group La Riqueza, which means I think the riches or the rich, the, the rich. Or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not very good Spanish, even though I am. Even though I am Latino, I'm not very good Spanish. But you can already tell that by me not being able to roll my R's. But Sheamus and Alberto Del Rio will do battle for that United States Championship, which is kind of funny to me because none of the two are American. But it's okay. It's the United States Championship. It's like the European Championship. Which right now is being held by a, Europe, a man from Europe, but he was being held by the one man rock band, which is as American as you can get. But let's kick this match off here tonight. Sheamus tagging up with Natalia to take on Eve and Del Rio. Oh, look at Eve. Scared of Natalia. Now Natalia has to deal with whatever Del Rio's coming in. He saw him tagging Sheamus. Tagging Sheamus. Sheamus looking at this. Sheamus ball blazing. He's starting the attack on Del Rio. He's coming. Oh, Del Rio able to take that one. Del Rio able to counter that one. Del Rio throwing the punches here tonight. 
here tonight. We have a great show for you guys here tonight. You know, we got this mixed tag team match to start off the night. We had just been, well, a couple minutes ago, the main event was announced, and it was one hell of a main event, a WrestleMania rematch between Randy Orton and CM Punk. That's going to be fun, folks. I, I can guarantee you that's going to be fun. We also have a new general manager being named tonight. That's right, a new GM. Who's it going to be? I don't know. Maybe it's AJ. <laughs> now, nah, we'll, we'll see who the new general manager overall is tonight. And we'll also see more about this uh, COO situation between Mr. McMahon and Triple H. Apparently, Mr. McMahon has some more news to deal, on, deal out about that situation. And we're about to learn some tonight. We'll see what happens with that situation. And we also have Brock Lesnar in the house tonight to explain why he attacked CM Punk. I think it's obvious why he attacked him, but he wants to explain why he did everything he did. So we'll see what happens, man. Big show here tonight. Brock Lesnar, Vince McMahon, Triple H. Jericho, Punk, Orton, Cena. What else do you want? What else do you want? We have a great mixed tag team matchup going right here. So look at Natalia trying to get whatever she can out of this match, man. Remember, if you like this show, I don't know what a hashtag is, but hashtag, hashtag, all right? Do a hashtag and a hashtag on Twitter. That's the way I know you'll be watching this. Natalia, man, tries to image, tries to copy, mimic, mimic her. Her uncle, the great Bret Hart. That's what she tries to do, man. I had a couple ways going for the pin. I'll tell you what she told me. One, two, Del Rio able to pull off Natalia off of E. But let me tell you what happened, man. Be able to talk to Natalia in the back. Tell her what what does she hope to accomplish from this reign, this championship reign. She said she wants to be the best there was, the best there is, and the best there was. The best there ever will be, and the best there, yeah, the Bret Hart expression, you know? The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. That's what Natalia wants to be here. She, Pan, she submitted. She just submitted. But the referee was down. Wow, Eve just, just tapped out. Oh, come on. Some bull crap, ref. Bull donkey nuts. Anyways, Natalia wants to be just like her uncle Brett. But she wants to be the female Bret Hart. She wants to hold that championship, that Divas championship, and make it mean something. Just like Bret Hart did for the WWE championship and, you know it's a good dream right there doing you know what your your uncle did your great uncle did your well your great wrestling uncle did you know sorry i'm just caught up in the lights tonight man oh we what a move by eve the number one contender going for the pin can he pick up the win for her team no shame is saying get off of natalia wait a second natalia able to counter it go oh, what a close line from natalia natalia gets it Going to pinch, going for the tag, Sheamus. That's that's a smart thing to do, man. You were getting beat up, now you're tagging in Sheamus. Oh, look at look at Eve trying to do a drop kick on Sheamus, and Sheamus is like, what the hell? Here comes the number one contender, Del Rio. Del Rio's in trouble. Sheamus is picking up what he needs to do. Sheamus has got this. Sheamus tossing Del Rio. Del Rio. Oh, look at Del Rio able to counter that one. Del Rio knows what he has to do, man. This guy's a, a, a great. He's great in that ring. He knows what to do. Del Rio knows exactly what to do against a guy like Sheamus, a brawler. Bro! Bro kick out of nowhere! Bro kick out of nowhere! Sheamus, one, two, it's over! Sheamus connects with the bro kick! Oh my god, that's it! A little deja vu from last week when Del Rio just got in the ring and made and made Sheamus tap out with that arm bar. And, but this week it's Sheamus who just gets that bro kick and it's done for Del Rio. This, this championship situation turned out to be a little strange, man. Well, I was talking about momentum earlier tonight and I guess Sheamus just recaptured all that momentum and hell yeah, he did. Sheamus, man, showing us why he is the United States champion. That bro kick right there is dangerous. You don't want to mess with that kick, man. Once that kick connects, it's over. There's no way you're getting up from that. I'm telling you that simply, not from experience that I've never received one, but from the results that we've seen, man, from that bro kick. Simple as that. You knocked, out hell, uh, knocked the hell out of Mark Henry. I can promise you that. 
Italian Sheamus pick up a win here on what to be expected as a great Monday Night Raw. When less than two weeks away from Extreme Rules and Natalia left the ring. But wait, Del Rio and Unico, what the hell? Oh, come on, Del Rio, you sorry sack of Zachary. Oh, come on, man. No, no, no. no. I understand it's sending the message, but this right here is just too much right here. No. Wow, look at Sheamus, man. He's he's weak right now. What what is Del Rio and Unico doing? What are they doing, man? I'm not liking this. Look at Del Rio. Just going on the floor, laying down. Oh, come on. You're spinning on our United States champion, Del Rio. What the hell? Del Rio's unloading on Sheamus. Look at this. He will not stop. He's going crazy. Berserk. Unico. Unico, Unico has to pull him off of Sheamus. Wow. Wow. I guess all the momentum has gone back to Del Rio. Who's going to be? Who's going who's gonna to stay? Who's going to get that U.S. championship? Is it going to be Sheamus or Del Rio? Uh, just, I'll let Justin do whatever he does right now. Telling him that how it is, CM Punk. Of course, that's the style, man. He tells it how it is. That's not a bad strategy, man. Having Super Cena as your backup, not a bad strategy at all. Not a bad strategy at all, man. And tonight, oh, yes, yes, make him cry like a little baby. Make him submit just like you did at WrestleMania. Do it, man, do it. Will it's midnight, them rival round? Woo! Hope that woke you up, because this match is about to wake me the hell up. John Morrison is taking on Brett DiBiase. These two men aren't in rivalry, man. They are in rivalry, but with different people. Let me explain John Morrison right now. John Morrison is in a rivalry with Alex Riley. Simple as this, John Morrison believes Alex Riley is boring and has nothing to offer the WWE. He's boring on the mic, he's boring in the ring. Those are John Morrison's opinions. And I'm not gonna say those are true, man, because I believe, I believe in Alex Riley. And and this one known fact for sure. This is for sure one known fact. John Morrison, after their match against Awesome Truth, where Morrison teamed up with Alex Riley at WrestleMania, Morrison, I don't know where, sneaked attack Alex Riley. And that's probably the main reason why this is going. But that's just my thing, man. That's just, my, that's just me. That's just me, man. I'm not sure about anything else. That's just me. And here comes the man that, right now, he is the brother of Ted DiBiase, the son of Ted, the millionaire man, Ted DiBiase. This man right here, Brett DiBiase, trying to make a name for himself. Trying to win that million dollar championship away from his brother Ted. But Ted has just said it over and over and over again. I'm not defending my million dollar championship against you. You don't deserve it. There's a reason why dad gave me this championship and not you. Those quotes uh, from DiBiase, man. From Ted DiBiase. And this this sibling rivalry right here, man, it's been going on for quite a while. Remember, uh, the group generation, which was Tyson Kidd, Brett DiBiase, and Ted DiBiase, which existed. Brett was kicked out by Ted and Tyson and sent away. And his relationship with Marie suffered, and that was bye-bye. And but Brett came back to kick some ass, but ended up losing at WrestleMania's pre-show against his brother. Well, that wasn't his fault. That was Santino's fault. <laughs> but we're about to have a great match between two young talents right here, man. Two, two, two phenomenal young talents right here. Morrison and Brett DiBiase, man. 
You haven't seen John Morrison in that ring? He's a treat, man, but as of late, he's been a little bit of a grouch, not trying to do everything he does, man. Oh, Brett DiBiase on the road. He's working on that. He's doing what he needs to do, man. Brett's doing what he needs to do, but John Morrison in control right now. Look at Brett DiBiase, though, tossing that note. Ooh, but that did you say elbow? Damn, I'm terrible, man. I'm terrible. Oh. He's able to get out of that one. He gave the hell out of that. Whoa, what a kick. What a kick. That's got to be it. I'm sorry. That's it. One, two. Oh, DBRC able to kick out. You know, what I can picture these guys is, this is just me, but I picture all these guys right now, they're, they're, they were able to get a chance at the United States Championship. I see them as U.S. United States uh, contenders for, against Sheamus, man, or Del Rio. I see them all of that. They're then that level right now. They're not in the level yet for WWE Championship gold. They need that one extra. They need something special to do it, man. And the guy I see closest from the four, from John Morrison, Brett DiBiase, Ted DiBiase, and a Ray. To getting that chance at the WWE Championship is John Morrison, man. Just because of the things he can do in that ring. I think that's what sets him apart from the three of them, man. But they all have something that makes them different. And that's the beauty of this, man. But if I had to say which man is going to win WWE Championship first, it's going to be John Morrison out of the three. That's just my opinion here in my WWE. In this WWE, this beautiful WWE. Oh, baby. What a bulldog from Brett. Brett's coming at him again. Oh, he misses that bulldog. And John Morrison was able to dodge that one. The Russian leg sweep by John Morrison. Couple of weeks, man. I'm saying this guy said some of the most cockiest crap ever. He said how the ladies love him. And when they're making love to me, they think it's him. They're pretending I'm John Morrison. Look, now I have no six pack. Except the six pack of Pepsi. Oh! No, no joke, no laugh. Oh, okay, well, screw you. <laughs> John Morrison, look at that. This is what I was talking about, man. This guy can do things like that. Another bulldog from Brett. Brett DiBiase, man. This guy, not, not much on the moves, but he does a couple moves, and you're done, man. This guy can beat you down like a scarlet dog. A dog, yeah. Oh, look at this. Working on this. Get the ankle, man. Get the ankle. Do what you got to do. That's just not right. He's going, he's going high risk. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Oh, that's it. That's it right there. Pink, thank the pin. Ref, ref, come on. Pin the count. Come on, ref. One, two. John Morrison's done. No, John Morrison's day with a kick out. And look at that. Oh, what a, sh what a, what a move. He just used the shoulders right there. Flew with the shoulders. Looking like Superman right there. Wait a second. John, what are you doing? Oh, John Morrison. Look at John Morrison going to work. Watch out, man. Oh, no. Come on. Is, is there really room for that? Why are you taunting? Oh, now over to the back of the head of Brett DiBiase. That's not good, man. It's never. Uh oh, counter that one. Counter that son of a biscuit. Oh, wait a second. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, look at that. It looked like a. Oh, that, that's got to hurt. Your back is broken. And then you get that Russian leg sweep. And this could be it. The match is over. No. Brett DiBiase able to kick out. But John Morrison's not. He's not happy. Oh, what, he, Brett able to counter that missile, that drop kick. Not a missile drop kick. A drop kick. Regular drop kick. Oh, Ted, Brett, Brett. Oh, John Morrison misses that clothesline. Wait a second. Are we about to see Dream Street? Dream Street connects. That's it. That's it, folks. Match is over. Brett DiBiase is picking up the win. Oh, John Morrison kicked out. What the hell? I didn't see that one coming. What a kick! Oh, he misses the kick! He missed the kick! He missed the kick! And now Brett's saying, "Get up one more time! Let me put you to sleep, man! Let me put, let me give that sleeper hold to you. The sleeper hold connect on. The sleeper hold is on John Morris, and John Morrison has nothing else but to go to sleep and quit. He's gonna quit! He's gonna quit! John Morrison's gonna tap! He's gonna fade! He's fading away! John's fading away! John Morrison's about to fade! No! No! He's turning it around! John Morrison! Oh, look at Morrison! 
What a maneuvers by Morrison. Morrison tossing them over there. Oh, what a clothesline for Morrison. John Morrison doing what he needs to do, man, to win this matchup tonight. Wait a second, wait a second. Whoa! What a urinara. Urinami? Yeah, let's go with that. One, two, there's no way. No way. There's no way Brett was able to kick out of that. Brett hurts the leg right there. Smart thinking right there by Brett. Brett DiBias er, knocks him down like that. That's how you do it, man. That's how you do it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at the kicks to the face of John Morrison. Morrison having some trouble right now. Wait a second, John Morrison able to get out of the way. Oh, Morrison, that was ugly. And look at that, look at that. Brett's like, what the hell were you doing, man? Why are you doing this? Brett tossing everything he's got right now. John Morrison able to counter that one, though. John Morrison's in control now. You don't want this? Look at that move right there. What a move by Morrison. Morrison, you gotta do it, man. You gotta do something here. Oh, look at John Morrison scouting it out. What the kick? That's it. The kick connected straight to the face. If you don't believe me, watch the replay. One, two, match is over. No, oh, Brett ain't with a kick out. Wow. What is what is he gonna take to finish Brett? DiBiase of John Morrison's wondering, what the hell do I gotta do? He's doing it again, he's doing it again. Breaking the back and giving a Russian leg sweep. One, two, that's it. No, Brett DiBiase able to kick out. Brett's fighting with everything he's got still, man. John Morris is probably wondering, what the hell do I got to do? I, I don't know. I'm doing whatever I can. He's not He's not, He's not. not going down. Wait a second. Oh, he's able to counter that one. Oh, he's put the sleeper. He's put the sleeper on. The sleeper's on Morrison. The sleeper's on Morrison. Morrison's going down. He's about to lose. One, come on, come on. Make him. Oh, come on, ref. Get the one. Come on, ref. He's, no, 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 no. Morrison is looking like a star, looking like a boss right now. Wait a second, what's he doing? Oh, look at, oh, look at Brett, smart enough to know what, what John Morrison was doing. John Morrison, missile drop kick. Missile drop kick by John Morrison. Oh, and a standing moon. So, wait a second, wait a second. This, this is gonna hurt? Oh, that's gonna hurt, wow. The knee to the face of Brett DiBiase. This match is over, that's it. No, Brett's able to kick out again. John Morrison probably thinking to himself, what the f do I have to do to knock this guy out? Wait a second, Lord. He looked like he was going for Starship Pain, but Brett able to counter this one. Brett setting up the DDT. Oh, that's it. That's it. Did you see the way Morrison head hit the mat? This is it. One, two, it's over. No, John Morrison able to kick out. Morrison showing how tough he is. Brett's giving everything he's got, but it's not working here. Brett's got him right there. Brett's, oh, he's about to choke. Use the rope to choke. Oh, that move should be illegal, but it's not. Here we go. One, two, Morrison's over. No, Brett is thinking, what the hell? Another chop, man. Wait a second. Oh, he's going top rope. No, he's able to hang on. Morrison bringing him back in. Morrison, only one thing to do. Look at that. Oh, no, he missed it. He missed it. Brett knew, he knew something. He's got something, man. He knows exactly what to do. Oh, wait a second. Another Dream Street. Another Dream Street by Brett DiBiase. Brett DiBiase connects with Dream Street. That's it for John Morrison. Eat your cake. Fat oh, John Morrison's able to kick out. Wow, I didn't see that one coming. John Morrison's back in control. Another one. Another one. That's it. There's no way that's the way. It's John Morrison. Look at John Morrison going for sure. He's going for the kill. He's going for the kill. For the sure thing, and he might connect with Starship Pain. Starship Pain connects. Six it. That's gotta be it too. No, what the fudge? John Morrison's thinking to himself. I just hit him with my best move, and he's not done yet. Clothesline from John Morrison. Uh, I'm shocked. I thought that was it for him, man. But John Morrison hit that. Wait a second, another sleeper hold. Another sleeper hold. Brett might have it this time. The third time's the charm for Brett DiBiase. Is it, is it, is it, is it? That third time's gonna be the, no, he's not the charm. Not the charm, but look at 
Gretty able to take down John Morrison. John Morrison lifting himself up. Wait a second. What a close on for Morrison. Another one for Morrison. Wait a second. Watch out for this kick. Oh, we got the kick connected. John Morrison. Oh, not this running knee. Not the running knee. Oh, looks like he's taking the head off. It's on John Morrison saying, for sure, it's over here. He's already kicked out from one, but this right here could be the end. Oh, Starship Pain connects again. Can this be it? Brett, come on, kick out of this. No, John Morrison picks up the win tonight. John Morrison picks up a crucial win tonight. Building a head of steam for Extreme Rules, man. But what, what a great contest between these two young superstars of Morrison and Brett DiBiase. Hell, I want to see it again. Hopefully we do get to see it again in the future, folks. Now, this show right here is in an all along. We do have some commercials. So, folks, I gotta tell you, we are about to go on our first commercial break of the night, and there's only, like, after that, there's only two more commercial breaks, and then that's it. But, remember, Divas and a couple other shows will be on a full episode. No commercial, no commercial breaks or anything, but there's not those shows. We're about to head off to a commercial break with John Morrison picking up the win. Remember, we're still gonna, we're about to figure out who, tonight we figure out who our new GM is. We figure out what Brock Lesnar is saying CM Punk and we figure out the COO situation. Oh, you don't want to miss out on Raw tonight, man. And usually I say that off, but tonight I mean you don't want to miss out on Raw because it's going to be big, strong, and we're about to head to our first commercial break brought to you by the Kool-Aid Man. Oh, yeah. 